What's up guys? Today we're going to build an indoor pond that I'm going to keep inside my house that I'm going to keep aquarium freshwater fish in. This is going to be really cool. Um, these builds are really close to my heart. So if you like fish aquariums and ponds and keeping fish in water and glass boxes, please consider subscribing to this channel and also check out my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. Uh, let's uh, just deep dive into this. We're going to be building a pond using two by fours, wood, a pond liner, and a couple other things. So uh, let's go. So I started by going to my local home improvement store and picking up the lumber. I chose two by threes, you can use two by fours as well, and I went with three quarter inch and half inch plywood. So when building these DIY ponds that you put in your house, a lot of times people just build them like they do walls inside your house. Two by four frames spread out by a 16 inch span and you just literally layer it with plywood. You can see that I'm using a pneumatic air gun, but you can use a screw gun as well, it just takes a little bit more time. I decided to build this pond the same exact size as a piece of plywood. That way I wouldn't have to cut it. And what I did for the walls is I built them the same size as a piece of plywood if you were to cut it in half. So if you cut a piece of plywood in half, it's 24 inches tall. So literally I had very minimal cuts in plywood because it's easy to do. And because it's eight feet long, I also didn't have to cut any of the two by fours at length because it's also the same length as the plywood. This makes for it to be really simple. And make sure folks to use a ton of nails and screws because you're gonna be holding back around a couple hundred gallons of water. There's a whole lot of pressure when it comes to holding back water that weighs eight pounds per gallon. So like I was saying, this pond is eight feet long by four feet wide by 24 inches tall. All said and done, if you were to fill it with water all the way to the top, that's around 500 gallons of water. So let's go back to the idea of using a lot of screws and maybe the idea of using wood glue because if this thing breaks apart and you have a pond inside of your house, you're gonna have hundreds of gallons of water all over the floor i know because this pond just got done leaking and it is a hassle i was vacuuming water forever and ever and that's actually the reason i built this pond on my main channel is to take those fish out of that pond and put it into this pond so guys here's the completed project you can see that i do have a seam in the middle i'm going to cover that i siliconed all of the seams and i'm also going to be wrapping a lot of the seams with house wrapping tape I don't know the technical terms of it, but I just feel a lot better about wrapping these seams so that the pond liner doesn't get into that and pinch itself because I have read of that happening. All right, so we're to the point now where a person could just throw in a basic pond liner and you're pretty much finished. I'm somewhat of an OCD crazy person, so what I did was I lined the bottom with another pond liner just for comfort, and I've dealt with a lot of issues right now on my main channel with ponds leaking. I cannot afford to have this pond leak, so I laid a pond liner on the bottom of it. This one's going to have basically literally two pond liners in it. And a person might be asking themselves, Chris, why do I want a ginormous pond inside my house? If you have to ask yourself that, you're probably not the right person to be watching this video, or maybe you don't like fish tanks at all, but guys, let me tell you why. First of all, I just got done saying this is hundreds and hundreds of gallons. If I were to fill this to the top, it's 500 gallons of water. Do you know what kind of cool things I can keep in 500 gallons of water? Guys, like literally, do I even have to say more? I could keep a small bull shark in here for crying out loud. Well, not a bull shark, but I'm just emphasizing something of this being cool so yeah guys here's the journey of how to build a diy pond to keep inside your house i'm going to be keeping aquarium fish in this pond in particular so i will have to heat it several days later here it is guys a couple days later let's turn these down a little bit so we can hear what we're saying the pond turned out great no leaks um, I'm, I'm heating it right now with these two pond heaters. Essentially what I did was I hung the heater with a clamp up here and it's really cool. These come with little thermostats and you can set your temperature. They're both set to 75 and they work together. And what I'm doing is I'm hanging the heater and it's suspended so that it doesn't touch the bottom because heaters are known to kind of burn pond liners. So you don't want that. So let's take a look at these fish because I know you guys are wondering. Look at that guy right there. That's my 14 inch Dovi. That thing is insane. 
Um, it doesn't look big, but let me tell you, he's a beast. So um, they really like kind of hiding under there. I just turned on this fluorescent light up here and they don't really dig that. So um, the fish are doing great in here. Um, it's a lot more clear than the other pond over here. So um, I really like this plywood build better. The PVC is a lot cooler. Oh gosh, they're out. Look at him. He doesn't like the camera, but he's in there. I'm probably gonna be doing a feeding soon, so I'm excited about that. There he goes, he's on the run. I'm gonna get an underwater camera as well, so. But guys, uh, this is a super easy build you can do in your basement or wherever. I'm gonna be keeping aquarium fish in here. Um, these are two 800 watt heaters, so we're looking at 1600 watts. I also have a 400 watt heater sitting in there with a rubber liner, so it's not gonna burn the bottom. <sighs> Guys, I'm really excited about this. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think of DIY pond builds that you keep inside your house that maybe you keep aquarium fish in.